you guys so it's Kia and I'm back for another Savvy Saturday if you guys like these types of videos please make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe and also make sure you follow me on all of my social medias and you know, my website my Facebook all of that for updates on Instagram all of that so in today's episode I am going to talk about um, my six month update so you guys know I started budgeting in February of this year and so today September 1st marks the six month mark so I've been budgeting for six months at the end by the end of August August 31st was exactly six months so let's just do an update so as you guys know, when I first started budgeting, I was a hundred and I think like I rounded it like $164,000 in debt. That does include my house. So if you take my house away, I think it was like a oh, $100,000 or $101,000, something like that. So I um, have been working really diligently for these last six months and just, you know, sacrificing, budgeting and, you know, being real good about sticking to my budget and not going over. So today I just want to give you guys a little update on how my budget is going, what I've been able to do in the last six months. What I have been able to do in the last six months, you guys, is just amazing. It really is. And I'm so proud of myself. I did have some like, you know, some hurdles and stuff to come over, but I think I did very, very well um in these last six months so i just want to give you a brief recap like i said without my house like a hundred and one thousand in debt and then i had uh no money in sinking funds i had no emergency fund i had no savings no nothing i was starting out with dave ramsey totally new with no um no money like nothing i didn't have any savings or anything like that so let's just get on to um looking how i've been doing so i'm gonna pull up my little um sheet here let me um, figure out what to do first okay sorry okay there we go so if you guys don't remember my blog post um from my website this is it so basically we're going to skip the student loans for now well we have seventy-seven thousand in student loans and so that number has actually gone up but i'll tell you why in a minute um but i had almost thirteen hundred dollars in credit card debt and i owed twenty thousand and something dollars on my car and like i said we're not gonna talk about the house because of course that is not nowhere i'm nowhere near that baby step at this moment okay so let's go to my spreadsheet. All right. So if you guys remember when I first started, I had a Belk. It was $175.46. That is the first thing I paid off in February. PayPal, I owed $1,324.33 plus the interest. And it took me three months to pay that off. And then my cousin, I owed her $1,500. I paid her off in March. And then in my car loan, I owed $20,607.87 to be exact. And this is the interest as of February to now because, you know, I started in the middle of my car note. And then here are the student loans. This is the starting numbers and this is the interest. So at the beginning of the year... And this goes up because interest goes up. So it was like a hundred thousand when I first started, but now it's a hundred and two thousand sixty-eight dollars and two cents. And it's going up because of my student loans. As you guys know, I don't pay on my student loans, so interest is building up. Um, and we'll just get it. That'll be a whole separate video. So as of today, September the first, I paid six thousand. $63.48 to debt, which I think is great for six months. With this almost a thousand and some dollars every single month that I pay towards debt, so that's better than I've been doing. And so I owe, according to this, $96,004.54. So let's just go. So this will, I started with my car note. This is where I'm ending with my car note. This 18000 161.51 um student loans is 17 and 60 and they're going up because i'm not paying on them as of yet um 
I did get all of my loans transferred to the Fed loans. Um, and like I said, that'll be a whole different video, but it's going up because of interest. So just take that into account. Now let's go into the details of my sinking funds. So when I started off sinking funds, there was nothing, zero dollars. So the first sinking fund you must budget, of course, is your um, emergency fund. Um, I have $105 in there. $1,005 in there, and I've gotten interest for the last couple of months. August should be up today, and I have in there $1,005.39. Um, my travel fund, I but I funded this year $1,225, so I spent some when I went to New York, and I spent some when I went on my spa weekend in July, so I have $408.05 left. Next is vacation fund. I've budgeted so far $720 this year and have $720. Now, these some of these funds, I'm going to change how I do them, and I'm going to talk about that in probably the new year because what I'm going to be doing in the new year is going to be different. I'm going to start capping off of these funds. They're not going to be indefinite. I'm going to have a goal, and when I reach that goal, I'm not going to fund these funds anymore. So my vacation fund, I want to cap that at $1,000, okay? Car maintenance, this year I've saved $563.61. I had a couple of oil changes, a car wash or two, and then I had to get my tags in August. So I have $285.22 left. Um, next, my Life Happens Fund. I've um, done $481 this year. Um, spent a couple of money here. A charity thing was there. Um, my cell phone had to get fixed. Um, I purchased a treadmill and I got a bonus from my bank of $2.42. So, yeah, that was fun. So I have $217.42 in there. Christmas, so far I budgeted three, I've saved $350. And I haven't spent anything for Christmas yet, so there's $350 in there. Um, Christmas will be capped at $500 each child. You know, don't need no more than $250 worth of stuff, so $500 cap for that. Um, home maintenance, I saved $545. As you guys know, my air conditioning went out in April, cost me $45, and then... It went out again in May and cost me $125. So I have $375 sitting in that um, sinking fund. Um, lawn care, $510. You guys already know if you watch my vlogs or anything else that I was so frustrated with this damn lawnmower. But I did buy a lawnmower in March. Um, got some oil for the lawnmower, some gas and that kind of stuff. But I've had several issues with this lawnmower. I had to pay the grass man in June because the lawnmower was broke. Had to get some lawn repairs in July because they broke again. And then, well, no, because it was finally fixed. And then in August, I had to pay the grass man again because it's still broken. So I have $31 in my lawn fund. Jalen Summer, this was for her summer camp. It was $300. I budgeted $300. It actually only came out to $185, so I transferred $115 to the lawn care for that. <clears throat> so she has no money in there. And then clothes, this year I did $400 so far. Um, Mari needed a shirt and tie for something. Um, then, I hate this sometimes. Then I bought Jalen some new sneakers and some bathing suits when the summer started because she needed some new stuff. And then I... Um, what is this? This is, um, I ain't even budget. Oh, these are new school clothes for her that I need to put a note in there. And I didn't. So I have $113.58 left. In clothing fund and birthday this year, I've saved $882. And Mari's birthday was $148. Um, Jalen's birthday deposit, then her whole birthday was $519.95, and then $33 was for my nephew's birthday, um, and then $8 was also for his birthday in July, so that leaves me with $123.66 in birthdays. School supplies, I budgeted $150 this year. I have 
$35.23 left for that. And then Amari, you know, I budgeted, I've saved so far $1,670. You know, he is in college. We did have to pay for his summer school. His dad paid half, I paid half. So, so far I paid $970 on his tuition and then $30 for books. So he has $670 left in that account. Um, Jalen, $30. She spent a little money. She has $11 left. Um, me, I gave myself $255.20 since this year. I haven't really been budgeting for myself. So I have $8.37. Um, car insurance. I want to start trying to pay my car insurance six months in advance or all at once, but I only have $77.51 in there. So that might not happen no time soon. And then my laptop. I want to save for one. I haven't had a chance to save anything. So these are my sinking funds, you guys, that are pretty much what they're going to be. So moving on. So this year I have saved, you guys, saved 9000 in six months, you guys, I've saved nine thousand dollars. Six six months. Six. Nine thousand dollars. I never ever ever will save no nine thousand dollars in those six months ever in life. Okay? So I am super stoked about that. Now I did spend four thousand nine hundred eleven dollars and eighty nine cents, but I still have four thousand four hundred and thirty three dollars and thirty cents in savings and that's divided up um among these accounts so i have a car insurance life happens my side hustle account has 295 dollars 80 cents my sinking fund account has two thousand dollars in it my travel fund has one thousand one hundred twenty eight dollars and my emergency fund has one thousand five dollars and thirty nine cents but y'all do you see how much money I have in the bank right now? Like, if a whole catastrophe went through, I can just drain all these sinking funds and be just fine. Like, I'm so freaking stoked about having this much money in the bank. In the bank. So, that is what I've been doing for the last six months. The last six months have been not as hard as I thought they would be. I thought, you know, when I budgeted myself and just, um, you know, um, restricting myself really all the way down i thought i would just you know break and just go on a shopping spree and just you know just spend up a whole bunch of money and i really haven't done that when i've had to spend a whole bunch of money it was for things like my son's school or their birthdays and that was the sinking funds are for so you know i was feeling kind of guilty about using the sinking funds because i wanted that money to grow 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 but that i had to realize that's not the purpose of sinking funds they're not meant to grow they're meant to be used for what you're sinking for so i had to get over that like guilt of using my sinking fund money because that is what it's for anybody else have that i have that all the time even now sometimes i still get a skin of guilt and have to tell myself kyosha that's what it's for stop feeling guilty so that is what um I have been able to do in the last six months so i'm super super stoked all right you guys so let's just talk about my predictions so i do have a tab down here that does say predictions and basically based off what i anticipate these are predictions of how much money i should have left in my accounts at the end of the year if i don't spend any money and as i spend money in one section out in my um sinking funds and i record on the sinking fund tab i put it in this prediction tab as well so i will know what i should expect at the end of the month hopefully if everything goes as planned so if everything goes as planned at the end of the year i should have spent 11 i should have saved eleven thousand twenty three dollars and nineteen cents so far i spent four thousand eight hundred fifty one dollars and ninety eight cents which i think has changed because this actually should match this right here so something is not right 151 360 420 i don't know i'll fix that later but anyway so at the end of the year i should have that much money let's just take this and let's copy so this could be just a little bit more accurate. Paste. And let's see. Oh, 
know what's wrong with this thing. Why is it not matching? There we go. Now it's matching. All right. There we go. All right. So I should have $6,111.30 at the end of the year, you guys. Ah, if I don't spend any more money, but I will because I'm going to spend for Christmas. I'm going to spend for Mari. Mari will probably go down, down by the end of the year. He should have $820. So it should go down significantly. I think I'll have more around 5000 to be really realistic. Um, so yeah, that's what that should be. And then in my debt, I should be owing $93,000 by the end of the year. My car note should be down to $15,000, which means I would have been paid almost $5,000. Four thousand, yeah, almost five thousand. Actually, five thousand because it's twenty thousand six hundred. So I've been paid five thousand dollars on my car this year. I'm so freaking stoked about that. Um, I'm trying to pay it off in two years, so hopefully we can get that together right. Um, next February will be one year, and then next February will be two, which is 2019. It is a stretch, but we shall see. And then student loans, you know, I will start back putting up paying on them soon, but. That ain't going to go down significantly at all. Like I said, it's going to be a separate video. So that is my um, my stuff as of now, you guys. So I'm so excited for these next six months to see what I can do in these next six months. <clears throat> um, I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. How are y'all doing with y'all sinking funds? Did you start this year? If you start this year, what are your numbers? How much have you saved so far? How much have you paid off so far? I would love to know, you know, link your videos um, or just leave it in the comments below and I'll make sure I check out your channel because I love to watch budgeting videos. I'm a budgeting freak now and I can just binge watch budgeting videos all day. So if you like it, you I can't even talk. So if you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.